Hey guys, we're in the car, unexpectedly, but in the car. It's little free library time, and I wasn't expecting to do it today, I was expecting to do it tomorrow, so I'm not like properly ready. I didn't like really do my makeup or anything, so you get me the way that I am today. Uh, but let me show you, I'm gonna bring two books over to this little free library that I borrowed books from for my little free library reading challenge. I'm just gonna put in the winter my tabs in so someone can enjoy that and then the little women so let's go it's not filming I love when it's not filming and I'm just talking like an idiot. I also have these two that I need to return, but I'm on the complete other side of the county. So I'm not bringing these back today unless like I really have to stay out late. Right now our garage door is getting worked on. So I just kind of have to be out for a few hours unexpectedly. So we're doing my little free libraries today. We have the Christmas bookshop. Did not love this at all. So I'm definitely donating that or switching it out. I have the Holiday Grind. Didn't even really read much in this. It just wasn't the happy Christmassy vibes I wanted. Um, I have the 1000 Gifts Study Guide. I have Last Christmas, which I didn't even read that. After I read the synopsis, I was like, ew, no. <laughs> I'll probably bring over to this little free library because it's the closest to being a kid's book. Um, but it's Home for Christmas, a Canterwood Crest Christmas holiday special. We have Love Does, which I haven't read this, but I don't think I'm gonna like it that much, so. Okay, hand sanitizer. I'm trying to be better about this because there's a lot of germs <laughs> in little free libraries, like, especially a kid one. I love kids, but oh my gosh, don't give me your germs. <laughs> Guys, I found two really great options for myself, of course, and future classrooms. I will probably talk to you guys about these when I get back home, but so excited. All right, I'm here at one that I don't usually have good luck with, but... I'll just bring some random stuff. This is the kind of place that I bring this random stuff for because it doesn't usually have much. See what I mean? <laughs> really not a lot, although I have heard of that one last book, so. <laughs> well, that's ironic. I got some donuts that I think are the ones my mom and I have been wanting. So hopefully that'll be a fun surprise when I get back. But back to Little Free Library hunting. Okay. Yay, I was so excited when I saw this. I don't remember if this was one that I wanted to read and then I found out something that I did that made me not want to read it. Or if this is one that's truly still on my Goodreads list, but it's The Rewind, which this was super popular at the beginning of this year, like literally last month. Um, so yay! I'll talk more about it when I get home, but oh, 
Well, if I liked cats, this would be an adorable little bookmark, but cats creep me out, so <laughs> sorry. Accessible little free library, well, other than the kid one. Okay, just a little bonus thing there. I decided, you know how like, if you borrow books from a library, you can like bring it back to a different library in the county or the system or whatever, at least you can where I live. I did that with the little free libraries. That library back there is always either empty or like this time it had like a bunch of like cookbooks and like drink books and stuff like that but it didn't really have any fiction. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and put those two books Hopefully someone will enjoy them, have some fiction, mix it up a little bit. Um, so I just kind of like donated them, but like returned them from one little free library to a different one. Okay, it's getting cold, it's getting dark. I have one more that I'm gonna try and then I'm going home. I got a car mount so my camera can sit over there and I can talk to you. Oh, oh, rats. I didn't read the ending part. She finds a, kit, a litter of kittens and takes care of them. No, we're gonna we're gonna put that with the books to unhaul. I swear I have a heart, but like, no, it's just a no from me. I can't stand the taking care of baby animals trope. It's not fun to read for me. But anyway, so what I have to unhaul still, you'll notice it looks slightly different than yesterday. If you pay close attention. So still have these three to unhaul. Just realized. This is an unhaul for sure, even though it looks pretty. This one, this one I've been thinking a lot. This one I've been thinking a lot about. Okay, I have a question on this one because I am potentially gonna unhaul it, but I have a lot of issues because <laughs> I'm really not sure. 
I've been going back and forth. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. And I think I may be overthinking it. But I need someone to tell me. Verity. How skippable is the like smut sexual stuff? Um, <laughs> how skippable is that? Because I have done a flip through, so I'm probably spoiling myself, honestly. But I'm not seeing a whole lot. Like, I've seen a little bit, and it looks like it's very short, like a lot, but very short. So it looks like it's skippable. Is that the case? If you've read this, let me know. The only reason that I would read it is because I said I would. Okay, here's another problem. I bought this, used my gift card, and then I realized that I already had it on ebook that I got for free. So I literally wasted half of my gift card on this. We love that for me. So I might actually read it, but I think I can go ahead and unhaul this if I find something to switch it out with. So I, I'm bringing it and I may not even end up actually reading it. I might switch it out for something else. Okay. We're here at the one that I don't usually find anything at, but I am going to bring one book. Oh, I feel like this is definitely a Robin Carr vibe here. Looks like brought before. Okay, that one sounds cute. It's basically Alice from Alice in Wonderland, all grown up. I just don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, but this sounded good. So what I did was I swapped out that one book for this, and then I'm gonna put this in another little free library somewhere else, just to kind of like switch things up for people. Just took me forever to find this one. I know I've been here before, but it was like a struggle. Let's go. did put Verity in that one. If I choose to read it, I'll read it by ebook. I just, you know what? It is what it is. I picked up this adorable little touch and feel book for, it's a Christmassy book, um, but it's also not super Christmassy that I feel like I could put this in my class, like our room opener activities bin, and this would be great for kids to be able to look at and just like feel the little soft bear and like, so precious. I don't, of course, I could just bring it out at Christmas, but I just feel like this would be great. I'm really wanting to find more books for the kids to be able to look at that are like biblical books because toys are great, right? Everybody loves toys, but some kids, some of us love books too. So I picked that up. Okay. Then I picked up two that actually are on my want to read list. First of all, Pachinko. I have no idea what I'm going to think of this, but I've heard great things about it. Will I ever get to it? Who even knows? But it is on my Goodreads want to read list. So I picked it up. And also Recursion by Blake Crouch. I've never read any of his books, but I really, really want to try this author because so many people love some of his books. There's a phenomenon called false memory syndrome, a mysterious affliction that drives its victims mad with memories of a life they never lived. But then a neuroscientist is working on technology that will let us preserve our most precious memories and anyone would be able to like re-experience a first kiss, the birth, of, the birth of a child, the final moment with a dying parent, like all these different things. Okay, interesting. Excited to try this. Okay, that awkward moment when the person whose little free library I'm going to just came home and I was like behind them. <laughs> I feel really awkward right now.
Okay, so that's fun. I actually was watching a little free library video where someone found this book and they were talking about it and I was like, I actually kind of like maybe want to read that if I stay. It's a really pretty end paper step back type thing. So I came to this one that I keep forgetting is out here. It's kind of a drive, but it's worth it because I found a love inspired. And literally this one is basically, this girl is babysitting and the mother never comes back. When they discover the child missing mother isn't who she claimed to be, can they survive long enough to uncover the truth? What? This is babysitting and like a mystery suspense thriller vibe. It's a love inspired one. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, that's why there's so many. You can get like, they have those inserts that like books in the early 2000s used to have, at least the ones I used to get. Um, oh my gosh. So fun. I'm so excited for this. This is probably the one I'm most excited for of the adult books I found. I technically only have one more book, but I have two more little free libraries I wanna to go to. this area like really like spooky thriller horror <laughs> vibes I'm kind of here for it I got the woman in the window but I've heard a lot about this and I'm eager to try it out it's basically this woman lives in her apartment and she never leaves but she sees something one night from the family across the way and she can't unsee it um it's just the story of what happened. That's some good stuff. I'm excited. Okay, we're gonna head back. I am going to bring all these up to my book cart and we will recap everything I picked up. Okay guys, we're back. I have my bag full of books here. Just a recap of everything that I got. Diary of a Worm. I'm super excited about this for my future classroom. This also would be great for like when I have to do lesson plans and stuff. Then we got this Queen Elizabeth little golden book. I'm looking forward to reading this for myself and then obviously saving it for, I mean, I could save it for my classroom, but I'd probably get them an extra copy and then just have this for myself because I feel like this is such a great collector's piece almost. I don't really collect things like that, but like this is a great thing to have just for History scene. For my class, I have this fun touch and feel book, One Night in Bethlehem. Just these adorable illustrations. Gosh, it's just so cute. I used to love these kinds of books when I was a kid, so I feel like that is a great addition for my church classroom. Okay, let's get into the grown up books, shall we? So, first we have The Light Between Oceans. I'm uncertain about this one. I think it's about a woman who had lost a baby. No, they're out on an island and the wife hears a baby crying and a boat washed up with a dead man and a baby in it. So it's just the story of what happens. So then I got, this was the most recent one I got, but The Woman in the Window, which I explained this in the car. I just think it sounds interesting. It's a really big book though. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. 
and I'm curious to see what it's about or like what I think of it. Next we have If I Stay. I know there's a movie about this. It looks like a really easy read. I think it's YA. Yeah, it's YA. It just sounded like something I should read because it's intriguing. It's an intriguing concept. But then I have Recursion by Blake Crouch. I definitely am more interested in like Dark Matter and Upgrade. Those are the two that I know the most about. But I'm very curious to see what I think of this one. And the font is also pretty big in this book. I'm just hopeful that I like it. I really love the cover. It's so fun. This one's not in great shape, but Pachinko. I put this on my Goodreads TBR after hearing Reagan from Peru's Project talk about it years ago. So I'm very curious to see if I'm gonna like this or if I'm not gonna like it. We shall see, but I definitely wanna try it. Oh my gosh, this one I was so excited about. The Cradle Conspiracy. This girl is babysitting and the mom never comes back. And then when they discover the mom isn't who she says she is, all suspenseful stuff starts to happen. I am really excited to read this. I love the love inspired book that I read for Bookmas. That was an Amish romance, but like, I'm excited to try this one. Very different genre very different vibe but i'm looking forward to it and then lastly we have the rewind which this is the book of the month copy which i love to have because i don't have book of the month but i i wish i Broke did up before graduation 10 years later on the eve of the new millennium so this is in like 1999 which i was a kid at the time Find themselves back on campus for the wedding of mutual friends and then the next morning they wake up next to each other and they're engaged but they have no memory of how they got there i'm curious <laughs> so here is the book haul all of these for free for switching out books that i have read and didn't enjoy or books that i'm not gonna read or books that i just don't need love little free libraries for that like you can literally if you're not gonna reread a book or not going to read a book just put it in there and find something that you can read it's so awesome and then that way people can always find what they want i love little free libraries okay so that's everything Eight, nine ten books for free we love that for me that's everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this please give it a thumbs up be sure that you subscribe if you haven't already fun fact after i reach 250 subscribers i want to go to a different city and do some little free library hunting there. And then potentially either the next little free library haul and unhaul, either in March, if there is one in March, there may not be one in March and I hate that. I might have to wait until April just because my mom's gonna be recovering from surgery and I may not be able to like travel. I might not even have any books. I think I only have like one book that I would be unhauling. So I may just wait until April. Then the next Little Free Library haul and unhaul after reaching that number would be in a different city. And it would be so much fun, I think. So yeah, make sure that you subscribe so we can do that next time. I just feel like it would be so fun to like go to the coffee shop I want to go to, go exploring, go to some new Little Free Libraries. I just think it would be so much fun. The next video I plan to put out will be my Polarthon vlog, which is awkward because I've barely gotten to read for Polarthon, but I have here in my handy dandy bag that I'm reading first for Polarthon, and I have on my shelf the other options that I need to get to, so make sure that you stay tuned for that as well. Please comment below any books that you would have picked up in the Little Free Libraries and anything you're excited to see me read in the future because these will go on my physical TBR. They will they will be in future TBR videos. But that's everything. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.